Hi guys, I kind of wanted to hop on today on my What's Up Wednesday to share with you what is going on in my life with house projects, um, what we're fixing up in our small home, and just what's been happening this week. So the first thing is we've been getting so much rain. Last week we got 10 inches in two days, and then just yesterday we got probably at least seven inches more of rain. The ground is so saturated and things are just filling. We did have to turn our sump on last night. Our garage had some water in it. My poor garden is getting so just too wet. It's actually not good when gardens are so wet, but um, I wanted to share what we're doing in our house. So I'm gonna show you, as you can see behind me, um, we currently do not have countertops. And <laughs> I ripped off the backsplash and the countertops because we are going to get new countertops and um, tile to put, for subway tile to put as the backsplash. I'm so excited about that. My husband was going to make concrete countertops However, we found that it would cause a lot more work with the whole cabinets underneath and like all the extra support that is needed. But um, we just decided to go with like a solid surface. We're actually not 100% sure what we're gonna do. Uh, we just wanna fix up the house because we're not sure if we're going to stay here forever, but we still want it nice for us and if we sell it in the future. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of a mess if you can tell. I do have my tables or my one table that I have covering up the countertop. So that's been what I've been using as my countertop. Kind of crazy, I know, but you do what you have to. And I'll just show you here what it looks like. Yeah, I ripped off everything and currently a mess. Um, there was tile, if you remember, over top. That's why there's squares here, like tile that the Previous homeowners had put in the front porch, in the back porch, in the bathroom floor, bathroom wall. So they must have gotten a great deal on that tile. But there is Formica underneath here, but we'll just take that whole countertop off. It is pretty gross right there. I'm not a huge fan of doing dishes right there, but that's how it is. Um, anyways, yeah, this is my makeshift countertop right there. You got my yogurt straining right there my homemade yogurt that i just did in the crock pot and my sourdough bread fermenting anyway that's one project that i have going on here and it might be a while before we get the countertops we did order a farmhouse sink i'm so excited if you can tell this is so shallow it's like five inches and most things are deeper than that so i'll be excited to have a nice double farmhouse sink. We ordered it from Wayfair. And we'll have to cut this out. Oh, it'll just be so nice to have. All right, our next project, as you can tell, we're working on some stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw this, that we tore up the tile and have hardwood underneath. So my husband stained it, or sanded it down so much. It took him a couple hours, because it's pretty worn out. and got this really nice stain and I don't mind the little nicks and scratches on there. I mean it is a front entry so it's not that big of a deal. What he was originally going to do was put on the border, the trim for the door and realized oh we need to pull up the carpet or pull up the tile. So we did that and ended up finding out that we had nice hardwood so we got to do a couple more coats of stain but that's another project going on. And I did repaint this from the last time you saw my front porch to a nice gray instead of a brown color. So it just makes it a lot brighter in here. Here's the guy who did all the hard work. My wife helped me. Uh, she cheered me on. There she, we go. She took care of the I kitchen. I was working on the kitchen, yeah, while he was doing this. So, yep. yeah, lots of projects going on. It's fun, though, to fix up our house and get a little more yeah. um, sweat equity in it, right? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to share with you what I got at the thrift store and some clearance items I got from Kohl's. So the first thing I got was this little watering can. It was 50 cents and this thrift store was amazing. Their prices are always incredible. It is, it's made in China, but it's super cute. It will look great in my kitchen once that's, that gets finished. So, Alright, then I found this antique uh, candlestick and it has some patina going on it needs a little dusting and a little bit of cleaning up this is also 50 cents it is the brand chromex if you can see that and this will go well with all my decor I've got 
Then this was a one garage sale find. It is this string of never opened lights and it was a dollar. So I thought this would be kind of handy to have to put in some bedrooms or outside or something like that. And I can't pass up a dollar worth of 50 string of lights. All right, this pillow, I'm so excited. It is kind of a farmhousey feel with the blue and white plaid. It was a dollar fifty for this pillow. I need to wash it still. Um, that's one cool thing about thrift stores and garage sales is you can find nice pillows and just wash them. They work really well to wash, and if it gets ruined in the wash, I don't feel so bad. So this was a fun pillow. And then I also found this pillow. I like the buttons. It's actually got a great zipper on it, so I could take out the pillow and put a different case on it if I want. And it was $2. Now I didn't notice this till I got it home. It does have a slight tear in that, but I can stitch that up myself and just fix that. So, um, very cute, and I think these two will look great on my couch. I had the last thrifted or garage sale item I found is this this is really a cute button down um sleeveless jean shirt and it was a dollar 75 now this is for my mom i've been kind of shopping summer clothes for her lately if you haven't seen my other garage sale hauls then go check those out but i think this will be really cute for her and it is a saint john's bay so something that i think she'll appreciate so the thing with kohl's that we did we had quite a bit of kohl's cash because my husband um gets quite a bit of cold cash from his job that he does and so we were just spending some money and I found this cute item in the clearance section. I like to shop their clearance section actually. They have a lot of clearance all the time. And this is, it says herbs on it. It's kind of like a green tinted wood and it was $12. So in it, it has parsley and thyme and a complete kit included and then these cute little trowels and a little shovel and spade to go with it. So um, I thought I might either give that as a gift or use it myself. I'm not 100% sure yet. I've been wanting a new diffuser. The one I have is more like a travel diffuser. So this is the Astro brand and I like the gray with the wood on the bottom. It was originally $53.99 but we got it for I want to say 40 so not too bad we used all Kohl's, ca Kohl's cash for it so really it was more like buying a gift or a free item getting a free item and I'm excited to use this because I love diffusing really a fresh scents in the summer like orange or lemon zest citrusy scents anyways so those are some of the items I got my husband did get a few fun shirts some bro tanks because he likes some of those um he also got some clearance four dollar um, Star Wars shirts that are really fun. So yeah, that is a few things that we did get as well I really don't want this video to get too long. It's already probably pushing on eight minutes And that's a pretty long video for me for what's up Wednesday But I did want to update on you on my garden if you watched my garden tour you saw it about a month ago So here is my sweet corn now, and it's pretty bright out finally sun though but it is definitely waist high and the water is not doing it great all the rain that we got um, my onions are good now this tile was on our countertop and so i put it down to help block some of the weeds i thought why not my lettuce i've been eating from and look at my potatoes just going crazy over there so this is one of my gardens okay then here is my other garden that i've got my beans are blossoming my sweet potato is overflowing Look at how giant my tomatoes have gotten. Brussels sprouts are doing well. Things are just thriving. So it's really fun, looking good. And I hope I get some produce off of it soon. So I am going to end the vlog there. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, I do lots of thrifted living, simple lifestyle, and DIYs. So definitely click that subscribe button to join my YouTube community. With that, I will talk with you in my next video on Friday. And have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.